Boys and girls, this is Little Owl's Night. Um, it's a story I think you're gonna like a lot. And if you've listened to The Kissing Hand and remember Chester, about how Chester is nocturnal, owls are nocturnal too. And that means they like to stay up when it's um, time for us to go to sleep. It was written by Diva Sharavastan. It says so on the title page. And without further ado, I'm gonna move my seat so you can see the pictures a little better. I'm gonna scooch it back. Little Owl was having a wonderful night. He watched the funny possum waddle along in a neat row. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch. Skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. By the river, beavers gnawed at trees, and Turtle hid in her shell as the fireflies danced all around. Little Owl visited his friend the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Little Owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. On the way, Little Owl flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a sound. Wake up, bear, don't sleep all night. Little Owl sang, I want to show you the moon. But Little Bear kept snoring as usual, and Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. Frog croaked softly, and Cricket chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. Fox had come to say hello. It was late now and the bats were gliding home. Mama, Little Owl whispered, tell me again how the night ends. The moon and the stars fade to ghosts, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads and dewdrops sparkle on leaves and grass like tiny stars coming down. Moonflowers close and morning glories open and the sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red and red to gold. And rooster crows and the crows call and the day begins, says Mama. But Little Owl didn't hear. I wonder why Little Owl didn't hear. What do you think happened? He was fast asleep. And that's how our story ends. Little Owl's night went by super fast. All right, boys and girls, when we come to school, sometimes you'll talk about your dreams and the things that you think of when you're asleep at night. I can't wait to see you at school. Stay safe.